Hi everyone, this is D Dee with Dee's Divine Tarot 411 and today we're going to go ahead with your Celtic Cross reading for the sign of Cancer. So Cancerians, this is for the month of September. I am at a cafe so please mind the noise, the music, the people in the background, that, they're changing the garbage. So just uh, be mindful, I'm doing this for you guys in service but I gotta do it where I can so just rock with me. Thank you so much. And that's a flush, so we're going to take it. Thank you so much, Spirit. We trust you in all ways and all things. Let your will be done in this reading. Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck card. Death. It's the end of a cycle. the end of a cycle so this could be a physical death where someone actually dies and leaves earth and that's hard like it's really hard to lose someone so if that's the case my condolences and love being sent to you and your family but this could be just the end of a cycle which it looks like it is it looks like the end of being stabbed in the back being mistreated being betrayed being played on many different levels death comes like it's an end, it's like a graduation, the end of that kind of cycle. So death comes to get rid of that and bring in the new. What's the new? Truth. Truth that will be on your side this September. And spirit wants to take you to happily ever after, after dealing with this devilish situation, whatever it was, be it a person, a situation, something to an extreme, you cut yourself free from the devil and this is what happens. You eclipse that devil to come into a happily ever after. And so you need this sword to cut free from the devil at times because he has you chained up to something and the devil can convince you that he doesn't exist. So all in all, you're going to light after dark and this is the light, okay? So not a bad way to start the reading. First card, so it shows seven of wands, so you're working hard to meet your responsibilities and handle the things that you need to handle, and you got a bird's eye view on all those other wands, so you're doing just fine for yourself. So as you're living in your garden of abundance, you could be single and just living your best life, but all in all that, could lead to a relationship when you're single living your best life spirit will bring your partner in and guess what's the bottom of the day <laughs> the lovers so you might be single now but it looks like you're going to get into a new relationship cancer and that could be a soulmate a twin flame all in all looks like this is where you're going <laughs> in this new relationship of love <laughs> you're going here after being in this relationship tied to the darkness of the devil now you're going to light so what a big difference holy smokes did you see what just came out next card we got six of cups so this is like serendipity kind of love this is someone from a past life most likely a past life that you were with and you guys are coming together to be together in this life you know, or it could be a friend in this life from the past and you guys are reconnected. But a lot of times when you're getting lovers and cards about love and this comes out, this is someone you were with in the past life and you come back together in this life to be together again. So this is the best kind of love is when spirit brings it together for us and reconnects us. You might be stuck right now, but this is just for a time. A lot of times we're stuck in you know our thoughts and not sure the next move but just wait until you are clear reconnect with spirit get that divine intuition and discernment and then make your move shows you will be clear because you'll have the truth on your side and God on your side your new and fresh and new opportunities be it a new work advancement shows it right here you got God money coming in from this graduation of betrayal and death now you're going to get exactly what you deserve spirit always makes things better and right holy smokes you got the sunshine divine which is a perfect cancer cancerian card in the summertime and so you got the best card in the deck cancer so you're headed for true abundance after a dark time with that devilish situation it shows again you're on spiritual timeout so you have to take this time out take it seriously get reconnected to your spiritual nature 
here into your spiritual like ancestors your guardian angels and the creator take time reconnect to your higher self become illuminated so you can see what you need to see because you're going to sunshine divine after this so a lot of times we just need to take a break and recalibrate get in alignment after being you know almost destroyed by other things and people but you did the work to come off of that or you're doing the work here to heal and then you know you'll be ready for the sunshine divine especially at the bottom of the deck showing a shyster and that's the devil <laughs> so if you're dealing with a devilish person well that's the shyster <laughs> right here and a lot of times it's difficult to cut or cut free from that this is what happens they cause you all this kind of pain and problems you know and to cut free from that is everything and that is amazing to go from that to this next card it shows you a spiritual superstar so you got some powerful powerhouse cards you're a superstar and you got the sunshine divine with you after a time of darkness with that devil holy smoke so you got true love coming in for you that's a gift from god this is someone you're meant to be with someone who's going to offer you that cup of love and truth and you just can't beat this i had this with my queen and this is how we felt a lot of times she called me her sunshine and then we were superstars in our relationship superstars in love and you know a lot of people can be around you causing this kind of problems for you devilish energy but it's up to you to use that truth the sword um, and cut yourself free from what doesn't belong in your life especially devils shysters or any kind of negative energy get it out your life so you can go to the best life ever this looks like what's gonna happen next card we got yep you were feeling down you know you want to turn around remember you got two cups to stand and two cups to stand in so a lot of times this is losing out in life we lose but we lose to win and a lot of times you see how those three cups are spilled out we stay focused on the three cups when we got the other two still standing behind us so turn around remember you got two cups to stand in two cups to stand in and those are the two cups that you can build back up to the five and this is the best two of cups one of the best love relationships you can ever have it will take you here and it will take y'all here spiritual superstars that you are happily ever after and truth and love and abundance on your side you can't lose you got the two major love cards in the deck so you're on your way cancer shows you could be a fire sign or a passionate king of passion this one is fire vigor passion coming in to oh my god <laughs> the match made in heaven <laughs> So this relationship that's coming in for you is meant to be cancer. This is a new gift. It's from the hand of God. Truth is on your side. Happily ever after in the sunshine after a time of darkness and feeling bad, you get to experience true sunshine divine and true spirituality, truth, love, and abundance through and through you guys are spiritual superstars and your true lovers <laughs> you're meant to be so all in all a beautiful read for you cancers i wish y'all the best and you're gonna have a blessed september coming in thank y'all so much for your time and attention blessings blissfulness peace and love bye y'all